you do when your friends at another school don't have a 3D printer? Well, you print one off for them, of course. <laughs> CNBC's Naomi Parnas has the story of kids taking learning to a new dimension. Lots of schools now have 3D printers, but very few, if any, are doing what this Mississauga secondary school has done. We want to see if there's a way to get more 3D printers into classrooms. So the students in this after-school group called the Maker Club decided to make their own 3D printers. Using their printer, they designed and printed the parts to build printers for other schools in Peel. It felt really good knowing that my, at the, um, my technology can help other people. For cash draft boards, it's a creative way to save a lot of money. A low-end 3D printer like this one costs about $1,200. For just $200, the school bought a kit with the seal and printed every other part on this printer for free. The first one they built was for this middle school next door. The middle school students then built one for another school, and that school built for another. So far, this project has helped create six 3D printers. It really is a pay-it-forward program, and, and we're able to teach students about altruism and really spreading excitement through technology. Technology the students are actually creating themselves. It's been an unbelievable learning experience. It's really cool to see that the things you've designed, the idea you have in your head first, and then it becomes a tangible product. It's not an opportunity a lot of people have, and especially since I'm only 13, and people are only learning about this technology now, and you can do so much with it. Next up for this club, well, they have designed a drone. There really is no limit to what this next generation of makers can make. Naomi Parnas, CTV News.